If you're wanting to create fabulous print-on-demand products like these on the Redbubble platform, what size images should you design? I'm Jo Wildsmith and I love coming up with fun designs and uploading them onto Redbubble, then watching them ping onto all the products. But while you can get away with one standard size, and I use 5,000 by 5,000 pixels for most products, there are a few notable exceptions. And while you can simply disable those products to make uploading quicker, bear in mind that other Redbubble sellers, your competition on the sales platform, will have the same challenges. So if you go above and beyond to get your products on there and looking spot on, then yours are going to be the ones that customers buy. Now, the first of these exceptions is print cards and posters, notably greetings cards and postcards. If you've got any other background, apart from white, with your Redbubble greetings cards, your background is going to end up as a square. And you can avoid this by using the size 1300 by 900 pixels. So go to your design software, and I use Canva for most things, and we are going to click up here in the corner, resize, and then custom size, and type in 1300 by 900. Now, obviously that would give us landscape. If you want portrait, simply swap those figures over. And we can either copy and resize or resize this design. I'm going to click copy and resize. And then I'm going to go into that one. And as you can see, now it's on the right shape. So I can change this, I can make it smaller, give it a bit more of a border, and then I want to save it. So I click download and transparent background. Okay, and then I'm going to pop over back to Redbubble. And here in Redbubble, I'm going to manage my portfolio, go into the product and press edit, and then go down and find that product. So then edit, and then I'm going to replace the image and choose it from where I've saved it. And there we are, and that looks a whole lot nicer. And now it's going to cover the whole postcard and greetings card. So the next one that we may have an issue with is mugs. Again, I want to use the replace image function. So let's head back to Canva. So here we are back at our 5,000 by 5,000 image again, and I'm going to press resize again custom size and for this one I'm going to pick 2700 by 1120. Now I will pop down in the description these sizes but also I do have a video all about all the specific sizes you can use for each product in Redbubble and I'll link to that one at the end. So again I'm going to copy and resize, open that one and here I can move it around, make it the size I want it, position it where I want it. Now let's just pop into Redbubble so I can show you what the problem is with the mug. So the reason that we want to do this on the mug is because this may look a bit weird. For this sunset design, it sort of, we get away with it. Imagine if that was a paragraph of text or something like that. That is simply not going to work. So let's take it down so the whole design is in there. And as you can see, okay, because we've got a background colour on, it does cover it. But you've got the design directly opposite the handle. Who actually has mugs like that? Who actually would choose that mug? Because it would look a bit weird. So yes, we can take it over to one side, which is perfectly acceptable. But it does mean that we've still got a blank on the other side of the mug. So by making our design canvas this rectangle, we can actually recreate the whole thing. So let's head back to Canva and get it how we want it to look. And then I'm now going to duplicate it to have it the same on both sides. Now, if I wanted to, I could have a line of text, a poem or something over here, or a different image. But for now, I'm going to go with exactly the same on both sides. And then I'm going to do the same again. Download transparent background. And it will save to my files. Back in Redbubble, I've got my image ready, so I'm going to click Replace Image and choose it from my files. And there we are. Now I've got it on both sides of the mug. The third and final one that I may have an issue with are the jigsaw puzzles. So I'm going to enable that so that 
I can see it better. And here on replace image, you'll see that it specifies the sizes. And that is a huge size, 9,075 by 6,201 pixels. It's far too big for me to be able to do it in Canva. Canva's got a limit of 8,000 pixels. So I would need to do this in Photoshop or Photo P or some other design software. Now, there is an alternative to this, in which case I could make it much smaller and turn it into a pattern. Now, while that alleviates the problem, it does mean that it makes it an awfully difficult jigsaw, and I'm not really sure if anybody would ever want to do it. So, assuming we're happy to go with that, I am going to save it and Every time you edit anything in Redbubble, you have to tick this box to say that you agree to the Redbubble user agreements to say it's original. Save work. And as I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to see how you can find out the exact dimensions for each and every Redbubble product, watch this video next. I'll also put a link to my playlist so that you can watch the whole Redbubble series.